Alrighty, here we have a roller coaster tycoon Del adventures deluxe uh, being played on Xbox Series X, courtesy of uh, Uber Strategist and uh, Atari. This is a pretty cool game for those that have ever played the roller coaster tycoon series or any, any tycoon game in the tycoon series. This is a simulation game. It's a point-and-click simulation game, and this game is no different. Um, so you have a tutorial. Uh, you've got an adventure mode, fulfill your destiny and become a true tycoon. So it's like a campaign, and then you have scenarios, which are essentially challenges. And sandbox mode, which is like the free mode, just do whatever you want. Now, uh, I will go ahead and load my uh, adventure uh, inspiring island save game here. Now, what I will say about this game is, is that it's not well optimized. What I mean by that? Well, I'll show you. So here's my park. Okay. It's not much, not much to look at. But let's say I wanted to go ahead and add just, 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 just a water gun. Okay. I'm going to add a water gun here. When I put it down, uh, the entire game is going to freeze for a second. If I try to move the cursor, watch this. If I hit A, the entire game freezes and just chokes. And then, it'll, and then you can start playing again. Um, that's that, that that that's just poor optimization. Um, I mean, this is this is an Xbox Series X. This this shouldn't happen with this game. Um, now that's that's a minor annoyance. Uh, now it could be that it's just the way I have everything laid out, uh, potentially. But I also that's a glaring thing that I really don't care for. Um, it's just anything you put down. It freezes the game until you put it there. And then eventually it lets you play again. And that doesn't go for just anything you put down. I mean, that goes for, in some cases, decorations. If I want to put, say, I don't know, a flower here. Again, the game's going to freeze. And just choke up for a second. Again, that shouldn't happen. Um, it, yeah, it's just, it just shouldn't happen. Now, if I wanted to put in, say... A path, right? Just put a path all the way through. That doesn't choke up. That's fine. That's perfectly fine. It's because it's not a 3D object. As soon as you introduce a 3D object into the space, the game becomes <laughs> just a choke. It's a choking point. Which is kind of sad for a game like this, honestly. I mean, I think it should be way more optimized, especially being on a Series X. I mean, come on. You have games like Assassin's Creed Mirage being played fine, other games like that, and you have this, it's just like, uh, uh, I'm gonna choke because you put a 3D object in, you know, in your park. Now, granted, there's a lot of moving parts here. I mean, there is a lot of stuff. Um, there is, uh, see, uh, yeah, it's just choking again. Um, there's like heat maps you can do, like revenue, like revenue information. Uh, there's, uh, peep load, how many people are in each thing. So there's a lot of, like, statistical information the game has to keep track of, and that may be part of why it chokes the way that it does. So, I, I, I will give it that. There's, there's potentially a lot of back-end stuff that's happening that's causing the choking points once you put something down in the background that we just aren't seeing. Um, but... The game is really, really good um, in the way that it plays outside of its performance. Um, I like the fact that you have to research things. Uh, like if I wanted, to say, a coaster, right? I can give it 10 days, 70,000. No, okay, I can't because it's, I don't have enough money, but I shall do 30 days. There we go. Now, if I want to expedite the process, I can just hit the button here to speed up time, and then that'll eventually let me um, let a month go by, and I'll, and I'll um, research and be able to build a coaster, which is kind of cool. So I like the f I like that aspect of it, the fact that you can uh, uh, speed up time and and you can research various rides and things. It's kind of cool. And I like the fact there's a free mode. I like the fact that there's a challenge. There's challenges. The tutorial's really good at teaching you how to play the game. 
Uh, another thing about the tutorial I will say is that <laughs> it plays fine. There's, there's, it doesn't show, it doesn't freeze. There's no issues like that whatsoever. No issues at all. So, um, it's just something about the core gameplay that it just doesn't doesn't do well with. Now, if I wanted to exit the park, right? Would you have to go to settings every time to exit the park, which I think is kind of interesting. So if I go ahead and say, I want to play a challenge, and I want to do spring break. I'm going to, I'm going to get those teenagers in line. I'm going to get this park spick and span looking great. And we're going to see how it performs. Because I'm curious. I want to see if it takes on the same performance as it uh, as ever the mode seems to be, or seems to. Or if it's going to take on the performance of, say, tutorial mode. So let's go ahead and put down a coaster. Okay, we're going to go ahead and just... Come on, there we go. Is that gonna, no, that's not, that's, that's not done. That is totally not done. <laughs> Alright, let's, let's, let's go ahead and just... Okay, let's, uh... Okay. So... Yeah, it's, it's still going to give that performance hiccup a little bit. But it's not as bad... as the other modes, but it's kind of interesting. I don't really understand that. I don't really get that at all. <laughs> okay, I'm 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 gonna, I'm gonna validate that. That's fine. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and just put a path there. Now people can enjoy the coaster. Um, that's a it's a wild coaster. I really did not think that through, but uh, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it's. Again, aside from the performance issues with this game, this game's pretty awesome. I mean, it's it's a neat game to have on the Xbox Series X and other platforms. It's really kind of cool. For the first time, we're getting a, a pretty decent simulation game, a decent tycoon game on a modern console. Pretty cool, pretty neat. Um, would I recommend this game? Yeah, I would. Uh, if, you're looking, if you've always wanted to play... You know, this game on a console, you can do that here. You don't have to have a computer. If it's a computer, you can just pick it up on, on any platform you wish and, and uh, give it a spin. Now, um, again, I do like the variety of the game. I like the challenges. The, the game looks really good. It just has some performance hiccups, which, again, is a bit of annoyance. It's a bit of a letdown, but it's not a, it's not a deal breaker. It's not a game breaker. It's just something you have to be aware of and be patient with. But beyond that, this game is really good and one I'd recommend checking out and playing for yourself. Um, yeah, that's really um, about it here. Um, I do want to thank uh, uh, I do want to thank Ubisoft and Sanitari for the very opportunity. Uh, again, this game is a wonderful game. Um, I would recommend it to anyone looking for a tycoon game on console um, 
or any other platform you want to get it on, it's definitely worth checking out. And uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for streaming. As always, till next time, take care and happy gaming.